Oh boy, am I ever familiar with this part in my original Let's Play of this. I tried to record with my good old buddy, Milo Hello. And I tried to do it live, but we couldn't do it live. My computer just didn't have the technology to record a Skype call and gameplay footage all at once. So we're not doing that this time. It's just me, by myself, and, yep, and there's a tumbleweed. We can catch it with a uh, thingy. In, uh, parts, oh, God, why do I keep forget? why do I keep forgetting, like, the amount of parts? 18. 18 of Skyward Sword HD. That was a tumbleweed that we just got right there, and... A dr it's a dried up plant that tumbles around a desert. Snag it with your bug net or it will crumple into bits upon contact. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, it does. And oh boy. This enemy. Ampli amp Ampilis. Its face. These monsters are inha have inhabited the desert for eons. Their defining characteristic is an ability to internally generate electrical energy. It is also said they live in a very live to a very old age. Their shells are able to disperse weights surprisingly well, allowing them to safely traverse desert quicksand. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. So as you can plainly see. Ampelises leave behind their shells. And what you need to do in order to defeat them is to let them roll around like so. Let them roll around like so. But make sure they bump into a wall. Yeah, once they bump into a wall, then that's your chance to finish them off. Just like that. Oh, and by the way, tumbleweeds are random across this, across the neighbor desert. They are random. So, uh, good luck with that. Good luck. Your first order of business should get this, should be this treasure chest that's right here. But also, yes, more importantly, the tumbleweed. It's right there. Thank you, I just said that. I Sorry, just said go. that! Anyway, your first order of business is to go up here and use these bombs. Throw them over there so that they go into this hole. Anytime now. Thank you. I was about to say, like, anytime now. Thank you very much. I probably could get those rupees right there, but nope. I didn't want to. As you can see, there's the friend that the LD unit mentioned earlier. Or at least one of them mentioned earlier. And here we have probably one of the most hated enemies in this game. The Technoblin. These Bokoblins wield sophisticated weaponry created by an ancient and highly evolved civilization. Because of course the past is way more advanced than us. If you are struck with a discharge from one of their electrical weapons, you may become paralyzed. These creatures also wear the latest simple Coplin fashion. Thank you for telling us that. So, Technoblins act just like regular Bokoblins, except they have an electrical element to them. So, I would highly recommend against going at them head-on, because you'll be hurt. Especially in hero mode, where you take twice as much damage. So, Skyward striking them is definitely your most effective way of dealing with them. And probably doing a spin attack would probably be good, and also finishing them off, too, with the finisher move. Thank you, Zert. You're welcome, Zert. If you hadn't come along, they would have sucked all the electricity out of me. Vroom. Oh, look at that. Zert. You have a beetle. It appears to be an older model of Lanayu fabrication. As thanks for saving me, I'll upgrade that for you. Zoop! Give it here for a second. Fwing! The 
The Hook Beetle. The big pincers enable you to pick up and carry things with it. You can also press ZL while carrying an object to look down at your and drop your cargo. Bombs away! I've added a pincer modification so you can grab things. Brrr Careful out there, Zert. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're very kind. So, now with this, we can grab bombs. We can look down. And press the ZR trigger to drop them. Just like that. Now we'll have a much easier time picking up things. Pure demonstration. Pure demonstration. Pick up this bomb. Oh, and right here. And just like that, we can go ahead and let's see if we can actually... Can we? No? Can we? Ooh, can we? Can we actually? No, come on. Oh, come on. Okay. Please? Ah, oh. oh, I thought we could easily reach it there. But no, we can't. <laughs> Not even in hero mode can we get that goddess cube early. No. And he said, no. We can't get that early. So it looks like we're going to have to wait until later. But I want to get it now. <laughs> eh, I'm a baby. All right. So let's get this. Uh, let's get these rupees first before we move on. And. Ah. Oh, good stuff, Link. Good stuff. Now we can go over here for some additional things. Thankfully, you don't have that Amplist to deal with. And what we got over here are cicadas. But not just any cicadas. Ah, good, we got one. Thank God. Sand cicadas. A desert insect that is quick to fly away. Deemed the most difficult insect to catch. That was easy. Well, it was. It is easy. It really is. All you literally have to do is just to creep up on them like the Gerudo dragonflies, like so. And there you go. Can I reach you? Yes, I can. All right, get that rupee. There's an amber relic right there. And go. As you can clearly see, in the Lenebra Desert, there's a lot of um, sprinting across the sand. So it goes by pretty slow. So probably a reason why it's probably a reason why I kind of want that upgrade. I kind of want a certain upgrade or a certain new potion like right now rather than later. But ooh, tumbleweed. More important. Oh. You you an asshole for uh interrupting me. I want to I, I want to ID you. What are you? Cuz I don't think I actually know your name. What are you? Come on. Get over here. Oh, oh, never mind. I guess we can't ID you. Time to use a strategy that we just heard about. Time to use the thing that we just heard about when it comes to ampelises. Because they can disperse weight easily. No, 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 no. Ooh, good, yes. Very good, yes. Right. So, oh, hello. Hello. Get you. Get you, Mr. Ant. 
get all of these ants. I'm gonna swing these, <laughs> like swing these things like a maniac. And we got ourselves the Laneru ant. Ants, a desert insect that is often found in swarms, has a face that's so ugly it's cute. <laughs> that's a that's a proper way to describe them. Thankfully, the ampelisses won't reach on land. Thankfully, so you have that. So, yep. I believe the ampelisses in the, uh, in the, oh, the ampelisses in the, oh, will, will not only sink after a while, but they will also respawn after a while. Yes, they will. They respawn right away, actually. Okay. Now, if I can actually... Now, if I can actually go across there all in one go, that would be nice. Once again, I have the added benefit of hero mode in that the Skyward Strike is at maximum range. So that's good. So now we can get this goddess cube, I believe... Actually, I think you could you could get it this early right now. You could. Uh, oh gosh! 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 Get over there! Yeah! <laughs> See, this area is all about you know sprinting. It's all about using those ampelisses to, you know, you know, hop across. It's all about doing things that will lead you to things. So that's all well and good and fun. But it's also about, as the good old Skyward Sword design philosophy would have you go by, it's all about going the long way to unlock the short way. I'm gonna get those. So now you can push this minecart and Viola. You don't have to go across that thing anymore. Hooray! You don't have to go across all this sand anymore. Okay, so now we can go back over this way. And... Uh... Kill you! Now this is moving sink sand. So, where you go will depend on you being carried across by the Ampelis' shell. And you basically want to kill these in order to get rid of them so that you can just use their shells to move on. Which is basically the whole point of this whole thing. That's the whole point. You're sticking with it until the end of time. I don't believe there's anything of interest other than those uh, Linnaeo dragonflies. Or the Linnaeo dragonflies. Uh, Gerudo dragonflies. And, yeah. You can mow this grass if you want to. But once again, as I'm playing in hero mode, there are no recovery hearts to be found until I get a heart medal. The Temple of Time. Get this bird statue so that we can warp to the Desert Gorge whenever we want to. And here's where our puzzle opportunities come into play here. So, using the time shift stones, press one, and, you know, it covers this whole thing in, in shrubbery and greenery. And unfortunately, there is a ancient flower right there, and I want it. Very thankfully, I have the Skyward Strike at work. So you can just take them by surprise if you want to. Um, let's see. Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah, I, re I remember what to do here. So... I don't believe there is a time shift stone. Yeah, no. There is a switch right there. That'll open up those bars. 
However, that's not what we want to do. What we want to do is use the hook beetle to... I believe we can't actually drop bombs into that place. Because... Oh. Ugh. Wait. Can we? I want to use methods that are not in my in my box. Oh wait, that will just detonate. Ugh. No, looks like we're gonna have to go on luck here until unless I can find uh unless I can find like a bomb because I'm not I'm not gonna be able to uh wait. Can we actually No, we're not able to. Yeah, I, I don't know if I I don't know if I mentioned this or not before I decide to cut away. Um I may or may not have mentioned this, but the beetle only has a certain amount of range and a certain amount of hits it can take before it gets before it goes offline and returns to you. So yeah, that's a little bit it's a little bit unfortunate, but you know, it's something, I suppose. Oh, okay. All right. All right. All right. There it is. There it is. There's just a bomb on a cactus. And using the hook beetle, I can drop it here. I just didn't look hard enough. That's all. And that's a tree. Now we can ride to victory. Woo! Right to victory. <laughs> Going again, boys. Going again. All right. And look at it is. It's your favorite boy. Good to see you, bud. Seems like you pop up everywhere. Though I'm one to talk. Anyway, bud, there's something I'm dying to tell you. It's the discovery of the century. This is a sacred place known as the Temple of Time. I could not believe my eyes when I saw a human who lives on the legendary Isle of the, Isle of the Goddess. It wore clothes just like the ones written in the ancient manuscripts. And it looked just like you, bud. And then came another person, and they entered the temple. I wanted to chase after them. But then there was an explosion all of a sudden. And the entrance, well, you can see for yourself, bud. I do not think we are getting past this mess. I just want to I just wish we could find out what's happening on the other side. Me too. I bet there's plot in there. But no. We can't have the plot because we have to go all the way around for the plot. Because of course we do. Hey, Octorok. I don't have time to deal with you. Okay, so I believe we need to blow up this one. Yes, we do. And then, nope, I don't want to use a beetle, thank you. I don't want to use a beetle. Then uh, we can't, hello, excuse me. Why, why is it hard to aim with the slingshot? Why does it always happen? Why does it always happen that you know, the slingshot is not, like, entirely accurate. For real, that, that's that's not the accurate way to go. It's always, it's always something. It's always something. I can knock them back into non-existence if I want to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no joke. You can actually knock the, uh... You can actually knock the Techno Blinds back into the future, just like that. Where they'll be stuck forever. That was scary, even. Thanks for helping me. Bzz. This is the Temple of Time. Within it is the sacred gate of time that was made by the goddess. Bzz. It's my job to patrol outside the temple. Vroom. If you want to reach the gate of time, you'll need to pass through that door. Bzz. Now you need another way in. Fooey. Well, the Nehru Mining Facility and the Temple of Time are connected underground. Bzz. The Nehru Mining Facility is right here. This map, it looks inaccurate. Bzz. Let me find, let me fix that for you. Vim? Or zim? You just put it back to where it was in the past. That's not like updating the map, that's outdating the map. 
Thank you very much. But she does have an important piece of information. So you see these uh, lines right here, right? See these purple thingies? That's where the past terrain is. It'll be very, very helpful to you indeed if you could simply walk across the sink sand. And that's what the past terrain will do. There we go. Another ancient flower right there. And I believe with this... We want to aim just right. Want to get out the sword just in time? And there we go. Get that goddess cube right in there. And there we go. Uh, one important thing to note, actually, about the time shift stones is that you can only have one active at a time. So, let's just say I activate that one in a distance, which will put you right back to where you started at the Temple of Time here. If I were to activate that one, then the Time Shift Stone I activated way over there will deactivate. So, you can only have one at a time here. So, once again, highly use useful information that's right here is the past terrain. With this, you can simply walk across the sink sand, just like so. Thank you very much. Readings indicate a submerged path that's beneath the sand. I just said that! Thank you very much. And I recommend doing the multiple beacons. And I recommend you shutting up and letting me skip past your dialogue. Once again, I feel like they should have taken away all of the, uh... Thing, all of the, uh... Unnecessary interruptions, except for the fact that you do have to, you do have to explain things, which I think that's okay. Like, like um, it's pretty obvious that you're not sinking into the sink sand, right? Well, that that's pretty obvious. But what's not so obvious is the fact that the hints that you can get very easy hints. Like, uh, I recommend you post beacons to find your way across which you can just basically check the map back and forth it's all good so I don't really think it's that bad but still gonna heal myself very thankfully thankfully there's a stool all right fight me you coward Fight me, you coward. So I can finally ID you. Be able to spit out rocks. Hurrah! This great bird is remarkable for its swollen red throat. It, it, it also ingests minerals contained in rocks. The small stones it is not able to fully digest are collected in its throat, which it can then amalgamate and regurgitate as for, for fully formed boulders. And yet, I have defeated none of this enemy so far. Like, 0% of this enemy. Nor do I want to. I might have to for demonstration purposes, but... I'm not doing that. So, uh... Let's get this time shift stone active, shall we? Hello there, sir. You are not in my memory banks, brrrt. This is the power generator for the mechanism that opens the entrance to the Nehru mining facility. But it won't budge until you activate the remote power nodes and set the three dials and to access them correctly. Thank you very much. Now I can add them to the dowsing ability. So, you heard the man and also the lady. Yes, you heard the man and the lady. We have to find the three dials so that we can open up the way to the Lanayru Mining Facility. So, we will do that next time because this video is already way over 25 minutes long. See you guys on the next time. Thank you for watching and kabrala.